Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is easy dinner instant pot recipes. So I'm editing the vlog right now but before that, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Jill. Here in my channel, I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. I do vlogs, cleaning, organizing, hauls. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, and the girls' Instagram account. I post updates, pictures of our family, and I just want to be connected with you guys. In the girls' Instagram account, I post their matching outfits. So if you want to support the girls, follow them. Thank you. Our first um, crock pot easy dump to go recipe is chili. So we have here onion, bell pepper, ground beef. But I'm gonna, this is three pounds. But I'm just gonna use one pound of these and then taco seasoning. For the side, we don't have cornbread, so this biscuit will do. And then we have one can of kidney beans, one can of pinto beans, one can of black beans, and this um, roasted garlic and herb pasta sauce. I know some people use uh, crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce, but I like using this one because it has flavor already. And then some people use chili um, mix, but I like using taco mix. But this is so easy. So easy and you can cook it for like two Max is two hours. Yeah, so let's start. So I just turned on the instant pot and then put it on the saute. Now it's hot. It says hot, so I think it's ready. So first we're gonna put um, olive oil, just a little bit. And then I just use half of the onion. I like sauteing the onion first so it will caramelize. Let's just saute that for a little bit. Mm. Now that the onion is brownish, it smells good. I'm gonna put the ground beef now that the ground beef is um, a little bit brown we can start adding the taco seasoning all of them. Mix, mix, mix. Oops. Now that the ground beef um, all mixed with the taco seasoning, we can add the sauce. Mix, mix, mix. And then I'll just cook this for 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. 
We can add the beans. Heat the beans. Pinto beans. Black beans. And then mix. Mix, mix, mix. So you can like um stop with the like uh, the ingredients. You can serve this like this, just cook it for a little bit longer, or if you wanna add some bell peppers or pepper, black pepper, that's fine, it's up to you. But I'm gonna cook this for two hours and then before I serve, maybe 30 minutes before I serve, I'm gonna add the bell pepper. So it will be like a little bit crunchy. So yeah, we'll see you later. So it's been two hours now. This is basically done. Look at how it looks so good. Yeah, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add bell pepper. I'm gonna cook this for another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna make the biscuit. So while waiting for that for the chili i'm gonna make this um feels very southern home style biscuit so here's the instruction heat oven to 375 so we'll follow that there you go preheat the oven Then it's hot. Cook that for what says it says here eleven to fifteen minutes. So here's my chili. Looks good. And here's the biscuit. How was it? It's good, baby. You gotta add a little more cheese than chili there. Little cheese lacking. I guess maybe that's subjective, but yeah. it's good. Alea's right there. So here's the dish, number one. Bye -bye. I hope you guys liked it. So today we're making our second Instant Pot um, recipe. It's so easy. It's chicken pot pie. We're going to make it in our Instant Pot. So we need chicken. If you have chicken breast, much better. Um, this is like bones I just need to like remove the bones and then cut the chicken in cubes then we have potatoes we have onion we have cream of chicken cream of celery uh, chicken seasoning mixed vegetables if you have fresh or frozen vegetables much better but I don't have those right now um, for the side we have our biscuit you know we love our biscuit <laughs> And it's good with the uh, chicken pot pie. We have um, chicken stock. We have parsley, of course. Um, black pepper and salt. So let's start. And a little bit of, what do you call this? Um, <laughs> olive oil. Okay, let's start. We already sliced the onion, potatoes, and the chicken, so I need to mix the cream of celery in a bowl, the whole can, and then the cream of chicken, and then one cup of chicken stock or chicken broth. And 
and then one tablespoon of fresh I don't have fresh parsley but I have like dry but that's fine half a teaspoon of this chicken chicken seasoning so I'm just I'm not gonna use this I'm just gonna like eyeball it and then mix it So I already turned on my instant pot. I put it in the saute because if you know me, I like sauteing my onion first. Onion to caramelize a little bit. Let me get a spoon. I like sauteing my onion first. Up to tingling. So now we can add our chicken, our potatoes, and our sauce. So that's it. We're gonna cook the chicken for seven hours in a low cooking. We're gonna slow for seven hours. Oops. And then when it's time, when it's seven hours already, we're gonna put the Mix the vegetables and then cook it out again with another one hour. And then serve with your biscuit. I'll see you later. Okay, so exactly one hour left. We're gonna put our um, mixed vegetables. Oh, look at that. Looks really good. And it's creamy. Perfect. It's perfect because it's raining outside, it's very cold, so a warm chicken pot pie will make you happy. <laughs> Veggies is from the can, so it's already like a little bit soft. So I'm just gonna turn it into oh sorry 30 minutes. 30 minutes and then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna make the biscuit. Uh, I already preheated the oven. So the oven already beeped and our biscuit is ready, so we're gonna put it inside our oven. alarm for 13 minutes so we only have four minutes so that's fine I'm just gonna turn it off and then serve it oh, look at that it looks so good and it smells so good I hope you guys can smell it Look at your house, Alea. Look at it. It says, look at it. it says, Alea's house. There's a lake. Uh, right here. There's that apple tree. Three flowers. With the sun. Yep. Look at that. Smells good. And the uh, biscuit are done. 
And if you can hear Ad uh, Andrew in the back, he just got home. You're everything to daddy. So he's giving the kids love. So yeah, that's it for dinner tonight. Okay, hey babe, dinner time. Alaya, sit down. So this is our third recipe for our instant, easy instant pot dinners. So we're going to make some beef stew. Of course, you need your beef. We got this from Walmart. It's already cut, so it's easier. You need potatoes, onions, carrots, beef broth, garlic powder, um, this bouillon, beef bouillon, um, onion powder, we're gonna use salt and pepper, um, what do you call this, olive oil, and for the side, we are making this stone-baked artisan rolls, we got it from Walmart as well, so this is our first time to try this out, so we'll definitely let, let you know if, if it's good or not good. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna make beef stew. This is like one of my favorite and it's very very easy So let's go and make some beef stew So all our ingredients are ready. So now we're gonna put olive oil And I like my onions to be sauteed so we're gonna saute the onion first I want it like big for this onion. I just cut it in half and then the half I cut it like a half again. If that makes sense. So I put the instant pot in saute. It's hot. So the onion is slightly brown that's what we're looking for now we're gonna add the meat Just a bit. and then add the potatoes Add the carrots, mix it up together, and then add the broth. I like to use the, the whole carton. Add some garlic powder. Add some onion powder. Add some this bouillon mix, the beef. You can hear Adeline in the background boil on and then we're gonna add salt and pepper salt and then pepper then mix it up We're gonna cook it in a slow. Put it in the simmer. Yeah, steaming right here. And then we're gonna put it in slow cook. Oh, turn it off and then slow cook 
for eight hours. Yep. And then when it's like 30 minutes more, I'm gonna add um, a cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, uh, flour will do. Just to like thicken the sauce a little bit. And then um, we'll make the bread. And then we'll see you. So it's been a while, 35 minutes more. So we're gonna check our lips too. Oh, look at that. Mm, smells so good. I wish you guys can smell it. Smells so good now to thicken the sauce. Um, you can put a cornstarch or if you don't have cornstarch you can use flour but double the amount of the flour so I have my flour over here because I don't have I don't have cornstarch I'm just gonna have some spoonful of it then sprinkle the right here and then I'll mix it and then I'll wait when everything is dissolved. Now everything is dissolved. It's not focusing. There you go. Everything is dissolved and started to like thicken a little bit, but uh, I want to thicken more, so we're going to add more. So, I achieved the consistency that I like. I don't want so thick, but I don't want so runny. So this is perfect. And I tried it off cam and it's so good. So now we're just gonna wait until it's done while making the bread. So we're gonna make the bread. Let's check this instructions here. Oven, preheat, oven to 400 degrees. Remove desired number of frozen rolls from package. Place frozen rolls on a greased baking sheet. So let's preheat. Preheat. Bake. 400. There you go. So the oven beeped. So I'm just gonna put some. Andrew said he's gonna eat like three. I'm just gonna eat two of them. So, and then we're gonna put it in the oven now. It says here, ooh, it's, that's hot. I'm gonna put it in the middle rack. So the bread is ready. I just need to, and the stew is ready. Here's the stew, look at that. Look at that. It looks good and tastes good and smells good. Good, babe. Approve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our last um, recipe for our instant pot, easy dinner ideas for your instant pot is cooled pork sandwiches. So we have our pork right here. We have our hamburger bands. For the side, we have 
this classic iceberg lettuce salad. Um, for the dressing of the salad, we have um, you can use chicken or beef broth. We have pepper, garlic powder, um, barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use um, two of them because it's just half. You need two cups of um, barbecue sauce. Apple cider vinegar, honey, ground cumin, chili powder. This is optional. I just like a little bit of spicy. So just a little bit. Paprika for smoke taste. Onion powder, salt, onions, um, garlic. So this is our ingredients that we need so i forgot to show you the mixture but um i mixed two tablespoons of paprika two tablespoon of garlic powder two tablespoon of onion powder one tablespoon of salt one tablespoon of pepper um half tablespoon of cumin powder um what else? I forgot. Half a teaspoon of chili powder if you want it. It's optional. It's up to you if how spicy you want your pulled pork. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I make it like, to be honest, I messed up. It, it's supposed to be like one teaspoon each, but I use a tablespoon. So I'm just going to use half of this and then save the the half of it for next time and then now there's our pork we can start rubbing it together I like to marinate a little bit over here while I prepare other stuff. Like sauteing the onion, the garlic, and stuff like that. So, and just a little bit. And then the rest of the seasoning, we're going to add it on the, on the instant pot later. So here's the instant pot. I just put it in saute. Then now we're gonna put olive oil. Right there, and then we're gonna saute the onion. While preparing the onion, we're going to prepare the wet ingredients. So here's our wet ingredients. I just put a cup and one-fourth of chicken broth. You can use beef broth if you like. Um, one-third cup of apple cider vinegar. One cup of barbecue sauce and three tablespoons of honey and then i just add the remaining dry ingredients here and then make it like dissolve it a little bit and then we are ready to pour this in the, pour this in the pork now that the onion is brown, we're going to add two cloves of garlic. I'm going to prepare a little bit. And we're going to put our pork in the middle so I'm just making room for it and putting the onions on the side. 
And here's their cord. Here. Okay. We are going to slow cook for four hours. See you later. So I checked the, the pork pork earlier. I just, you know, try to like poke them and yeah, they're like almost ready. They're like, I just need to shred them and put barbecue sauce later. Looks good. So I just turned off and we're gonna shred the meat. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, Vlad. So we're just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do the barbecue sauce. We're using the honey barbecue sauce. Yeah, it looks good. It's, it came out real good. What are we using? It smells good. Not a, not a pork butt, but a... Uh, I think we used a pork roast. Loin. No, the yeah. loin's the long skinny... I don't know. Uh, I think it's a, just a pork roast. But pressure cook it and it does the same thing. Yeah. Better than a pork butt, honestly. Better cut a meat. Oh, little Lele wants to say hi. as much as I did last time. She wants to be pretty saucy, you know? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. So while he's doing that, we are gonna toast some buns. You want your buns toasted, babe? Yeah. Yep. Okay. How was it, Alea? <laughs> so I see her. This baby. Say goodbye. Good job, baby. That was a little bird bite. <laughs> so this is mine. Andrew doesn't like um, salad. Good? Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you like it. Give this a thumbs up if you do. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification button to be notified every time I post a video. If you have mommy video suggestions, leave it in the comment section and to be featured on my comment of the day. Salamat at mahal ko kayo and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!